Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about sorting. So most of you who have uh, already seen the sorting in applications like Microsoft Excel or any other reporting system probably very well aware about uh, what it is and why you need it. But if you have not seen it or have not done it in within ClickView then here in this video uh, I will going to talk about what sorting is and how you can achieve it within the click view. So let's go ahead by defining what is sorting. So sorting is nothing but the representation of your data in the table or, or in the chart in a uh, desired way. So what I mean by desired way is that for example uh, whenever you are preparing any report uh, you always want that uh, you need top five values or values in particular order that it should first start with the uh, maximum value and go and and then go down in a decreasing order. So that's that's the kind of representation increasing or decreasing order of the values is sorting and within click view you have multiple ways by which you can define the sorting. That means whether sorting by number, sorting by text or any other custom order that you have. So in this video I will going to talk uh, about uh, all these different types of sorting orders that you have and how to apply it. But since we are starting uh, with a sorting topic then it is important to understand at what level we need to define the sorting. That means whether you want to go in each individual object like this chart or this uh, simple table chart and then define the sorting because you have the options to go in each individual object and do that. So for example if I right click here on this chart and go to properties I have the option of doing the sorting and I have done some custom sorting or some custom sort sorting has been specified over here. So that is something like you are going in each individual object and define the sorting because that may be your requirement. But if you have certain defined rules in your organization or as per your requirement from the project that this is how the sorting should follow in whether whatever object you are using whether a chart or whether a simple table or anything it should follow a particular way of sorting then you can define the sorting at a document level. So for that you can actually go into settings, document properties and here there is an option of or the tab of sort. So what it helps doing that once you have specified okay you want account by numeric ascending, you want uh, average AR average balance by let's say descending order or AR open. Uh, let's say by text and Z to A. If this is the kind of requirement you have got and you want to do it for entire document you can specify over here click OK. In that case you don't have to go to each individual object and specify the sorting. So just think that how much time you will be able to save say let's say you have 50 different objects that you need to do. So you can specify the sorting at once by going into the document properties and specifying the sort what sort order you need for the entire document and you are just done start creating the objects and it will going to take the sorting as you have specified. But if that's not the case and most of the time that is true that uh, at a document level you rarely specify it so you go into the each object based on that object's requirement you change it. So you have two options whether to go at a document level or to go at a particular object level. First thing I wanted to tell you in this video. Um, so let's now go into the sort tab of any of this object let's say this table box object if I'm not wrong. If I right click go to properties and yeah this is a simple table. So here a lot of calculations and one dimension has been specified which is customer. And then you have these different types of expression. And now let's go into the properties of this object and see the sort. So within the sort, 
on the left hand side you have all the columns that means dimension or expression specified within the priority that first it should be sorted by DSO then by percentage overdue then by customer dimension so on and so forth also it has been indicated that you can do a interactive sort also so what is interactive sort so if you can see this small triangle over here this basically indicates that interactive sort is enabled and by double clicking on any of the column which is available here you can do the sorting either in ascending or descending order so if i just click ok and uh, show you uh, by double clicking the dso and you will observe how the sorting is changing so if i double click you can see a different sorting order is coming i think that is a descending one if i double click it's ascending one the order similarly if i want to sort it on 31 to 60 days just because i am interested in that observation so i'll double click over here so it is giving me in ascending order that means the negative values are coming first and then slowly it is increasing if i double click over here it is uh, so i think that has moved a little bit that was 30 to 60 days yeah it has moved to the first maybe because i have dragged it instead of uh, sorting it so if i will just drag it back to here and double click so yeah now it is in descending uh, order so that's how you can uh, apply the interactive sort it's really useful for the user because user will not be really aware uh, what kind of complex sorting order you have done in the backend like sort order or different ways by numeric sort order or text sort order so this interactive is helpful for our user and interacts the uh, added the interactivity in your object so if i right click again go to properties and try to explain you you know, how you can do that stuff here so i already covered the priority section uh, you can promote or demote and then you can change the priority based on how the sorting needs to be done allow interactive sort if you want to allow it and then if you have any expression then you can specify it uh, i am covering the expression in a separate video uh, after covering these basics so that helps us that uh, when, you, when we have some complex situations that by a particular expression we want to do it because there is no straight way of doing that then you can see how you know we can achieve it in that next video by frequency that means based on the frequency of the item number of times it is appearing uh, based on that if you want to change it then you can enable this um, numeric value very simple whatever numeric value that you have based on that you want to specify um, text if you have uh, any text then based on that a to z or z to a how you want to specify load order is uh, how you have loaded the data if uh, that is the your base of doing the sorting then you can specify the load order by clicking here and mention like whether original way or reverse the original way and then show it so you have multiple options which is available here um, you have another option which is override group sort order so that is generally available when you have like uh, grouped dimensions so group dimension topic i have covered previously like this uh, customer budget these are like group dimension so if i go into edit groups these are all you know different groups that we have created so customer budget it is showing that these are this is how the grouping is being specified and uh, account trail and and lot of others so if you have any of that group dimension then you can specify that you want to overwrite that that means uh, by having the grouped dimension it may do a complex sorting or the result will not come as per your expectations and you want to avoid the impact of uh, group dimension then you can say that hey i want to overwrite this uh, group dimension it is not enabled because we have not selected any group dimension so that's how you have seen the multiple ways of defining the sort order priority and interactive sort 
but the sorting options are different based on the objects that you have so for example uh, i have this bar chart and if i right click on the bar chart and go into the properties you will see a couple of other options like y value or state or uh, and uh, apart from that it's pretty much similar and here you can see that i have the override group sort order is enabled maybe because of the dimension that we have selected is a customer dimension and you can see the grouping sign is coming so because of that your override option is enabled and I am, we have specified that you need to we are overriding this option so that two additional options like y value and state is because it is very specific to this particular chart and that's why it is mentioned uh, in the properties of the R chart so y value is nothing but what it says that based on the y values axis on the y values so this is the y value y axis and this is the x axis horizontal is x and vertical is y based on the y axis you want to specify uh, ascending or descending format that is number one and uh, state specify uh, so a state is nothing but uh, the selection state that means based on the selections uh, you want the selected values to appear first that means ascending or descending that means the last as a last value so i'll show you this particular example uh, in much more relevant object which is list box and there you can see its direct impact so for now i'll just uncheck this click cancel and select uh, 2011 just to show you the state option so for that uh, right now I've just selected nothing has happened um, so let's go into the properties and see the impact so within the sort auto option is specified um, so currently uh, it is also send ascending if I change the ascending order that means uh, the selected value should appear as a first value then I click apply and now you can see that 2011 has been shifted from last value to first value and if I see descending and click apply now it is coming as a last value as a uh, selected value so based on that selection uh, that you have specified it will going to do the different sorting order based on what you are specifying if you have just created the object and nothing's been specified then auto ascending is the default option which comes uh, uh, you know by default when you create the object so for now i just create click ok and uh, leave it as it is so these are all the different uh, categories i wanted to show you in in this video to help you familiarized with the uh, sorting that is there or available within the click view system um so i have another part of this video where i will going to discuss a little bit more uh, custom sorting and helps you uh, identify or helps you figure out what are the options which you have uh, to to define the custom sorting and before that why you actually need the custom sorting what are those cases in which you will going to require the custom sorting so that's pretty much all uh, i have in this video and i will meet you in the new video the new topic